This is the Ugreen KVM switch. Today we're going to set this up and see if it's any good. I purchased this because every time I want to switch from my gaming PC to my laptop, I have to unplug all these cables, put in adapters, plug it all back together and it gets frustrating. Whereas if I set up this KVM switch, I should be able to just click a button and use that same monitor, keyboard and mouse across both of my devices. That's the idea in theory, let's see how it pans out. In the box we have two HDMI cables, two USB-B cables, one mini USB cable, the device itself and the little button clicker. We also have the instructions, but nobody reads them. To set this up, we are going to plug the USB cables and the HDMI cables in first. These will be the cables connecting your computer and laptop to the KVM switch. We're going to set up device number one being my gaming PC first. Now we're going to set up device number two, which is my Surface Laptop 7. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with the HDMI output, so we're going to just use an adapter and hope that it works nicely. Both devices are connected into the switch. The final piece is we're going to plug this into the front of the switch and we're going to plug our final HDMI cable from our monitor into the HDMI out section of the switch. I also have a USB cable going from my monitor which controls both my mouse and keyboard. I'm just going to plug that into the front of the switch which should allow me to control them from my devices. This is what it should look like when it's all set up, and that is a lot of cables. We are going to have to clean that up shortly. Something to note, the HDMI cables included with the device are very short. They're only a meter in length. When you're setting this up, you're going to have to have the devices close together or purchase some longer cables. Okay, moment of truth. We're going to see if it works. So I've got gaming on my main gaming PC, and I've got nothing on the laptop. I can move around and it's working fine. Cool. So now if we press the button, we are now in our laptop. Keyboard and mouse is working, which is good. Press the button again and after about two seconds, it seems to go straight back in and flawless. I also want to test the compatibility with a Mac, so we're going to unplug the Surface Laptop 7, plug it into my Mac, and we'll see what happens. We're currently on my gaming PC, so I will click the button. And we have our Mac. Mouse works. Keyboard works as well. Let's see if we can click back. Nice. That is awesome. I love how I can just click that one button to simply switch between the gaming PC and the laptop. That's amazing. Super impressed that it works with Mac as well. Now there are two caveats or things to be aware of when it comes to this device. The first is this switch can only output 4K at 60 Hertz. This is fine for me because the monitor I'm using is quite old and not the best. However, if you have a somewhat modern gaming monitor, quite often the refresh rate is 144 Hertz per second, which is significantly higher than 60. So if you have one of the high end monitors using this switch, you will get a reduced image quality. And the second thing to note, they do have this in their product description, but if you plan to use any external hard drives or things that require a lot of power, you will have to supply the switch with a USB-C power supply. You can pick something up relatively cheap, but it's something to be aware of. With that being said, I absolutely love this device. Just being able to click the button instead of having to fidget around with the cables is amazing. If anyone wants to pick one up, I'll put a link in the description down below. It does help the channel out tremendously when you use those links, so thank you. That's all I had for you guys today. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.